everybody. This is Leanne with Atlas. Just wanted to talk with you about the 10 essentials and hiking safety for when you're heading out in the backcountry this summer. So now you might be wondering, what are the 10 essentials? The 10 essentials are things that you should bring on your backpacking or hiking trips to make sure that you're safe in case of emergencies. The first one is a navigation uh, pack. Um, so that generally includes five different components, a map, a compass, an altimeter watch, a GPS device, and a personal locator beam. Basically, if you get lost, you want to have a way that you can get out safely and quickly. Number two, a headlamp or a flashlight that will uh, have extra batteries with it so that in case it gets dark and you're out later than you expected, that you still have a way to find your path. The next one is sun protection. Um, that includes sunglasses, sunscreen, and clothing. Number four should be some first aid items. Any first aid kit should include treatment for blisters, um, adhesive bandages for cuts or wounds, uh, clean sterile gauze pads, some type of adhesive tape, a disinfecting ointment, an over-the-counter pain medication, pen and paper, and hopefully some gloves as well. Number four are knives. Knives are really handy. They can be used for a multitude of different items like gear repair, for food preparation, for first aid, for cutting wood for fires or other emergency needs. And these make it really essential to have that with you at all times. The next one is some uh, form of fire starter. Um, a lot of times people just bring like a matchbox, uh, and unfortunately those are not super great to have when hiking because if they get wet, they're not very effective. So you may want to bring a butane lighter or a waterproof uh, match or matches that are stored in a waterproof container. Um, not a bad idea to have multiple ways to start a fire in the backcountry in case one fails. Number seven. You want to have some type of emergency shelter with you in case that you get injured and you need some extra shelter because you're staying out longer than you expected or maybe you get lost or a storm rolls up and you weren't expecting it. Um, you want to have a way to keep yourself warm and dry in case you're stranded or injured on the trail. These include a tarp, a bivy sack, or even a really lightweight mylar emergency blanket. These are really small and they weigh just a few ounces. Um, and if you're really in a bind, you can use a large plastic trash bag as well. You always want to have an extra day's worth of food in case something on your trip causes you to go long or you know you get lost. Um, you want to make sure that you always have enough water um, as well as having a way of finding more uh, that's, safe, that's safe to drink. So that might be a filter, um, that might be a chemical treatment, or you might need a, a stove if you're going to be hiking in the winter where there's a lot of snow and ice. And number 10, is that you want to make sure that you have extra clothes beyond what you might expect to need on that trip. So if you know, if you go out in the middle of the day of the summer and it's warm and it's sunny and you might not bring a coat with you, but if you get caught in the backcountry and you're injured and you're there for maybe overnight, you're going to make sure, make sure that you have extra layers um, and some waterproof um, gear so that you don't get hypothermia, um, which will make the experience much, much worse. You may be wondering, well, when do I need to bring the 10 essentials with me? You should have these every single time you go into the backcountry, even on short day hikes. You might not use them most of the time or maybe even ever, but if something happens and you need them, you'll be really glad that you have them with you. A few other safety tips for when you're hiking in the backcountry. Um, if you're in bear country, you want to make sure that you bring bear spray and that you know how to use it. Um, bear spray isn't only effective on bears, it can be used in encounters with other wildlife um, or even another person if you feel unsafe. Uh, another thing that you want to do is make a plan and make sure that you share it with somebody who is not going on the trip with you. Um, and also give them a timeline for when they should expect to see you or hear from you. And if they haven't, to contact the authorities so that somebody can come and rescue you. Um, you don't want to leave any valuables in your car. Unfortunately, there are a lot of trail ahead break-ins. Um, especially in remote areas, in really popular hikes as well. So don't leave anything that, you know, would be disappointing to lose. And make sure that you don't have anything that has your um, home address on it where somebody could possibly use that information to break into your home. And then the last thing you may want to consider is a satellite communication device. 
There are a whole range of different options here. Some of them do calls, some of them just do messaging, some of them also act as GPS devices. Um, so that can be a really crucial tool if you feel like you're in the backcountry a lot or you're doing a lot of things, especially by yourself, where there might not be somebody who can go get help for you. Um, having a communication device could be a lifesaver. Hope all of these tips help, and if you need anything, please let us know.